I want to fit modern LED lighting parts, a battery, switching system, cables and bulb into the carriage lamp. The old paraffin lamp base fits perfectly, but we cannot damage antiques by retrofitting modern parts. So I've had an idea. Measure it carefully, create a 3D model and then take a leap into the extraordinary world of 21st century manufacturing technology. Well, I now have a 3D model in my computer that I'm very happy with, and so obviously I now want to make it actually real, if you like. And in the same way that if you wanted to get a tangible document out of anything on a computer, you'd send it to a printer. And this is where it gets awesome. Now, this amazing machine is a 3D printer. Now, if you think about a conventional 2D printer, you'll be printing ink onto paper, whereas this machine can print a multitude of different materials, but in this case, it's going to be acrylic resin onto a sheet of metal. It's incredible. The machine is laying down 30 microns, about 0.3 of a mil of material, with every pass. The 3D printer tells me it will take around 14 hours to build up the full base parts. This machine is on loan to me. Knew it would cost around £120,000. Now, we left the machine going all night. It actually took just over 15 hours to finish the print. And here we go. Look at that. Ever so gently take this out here. And there we are. These are our nearly finished products. Compare them with the item that I actually copied. You can see they're almost identical, but of course they've got the modifications ready for our LED kit. A 12-volt supply will power an H7 LED bulb, and I know they'll fit as I gave the 3D printer their exact measurements. Now, what I'll have to do is pop everything into position. So let's start with this little bit here. There we go. So I'll just connect up my battery pack like so, and that should just now drop straight in. Look at that, very nice and neat. And then pop in the bulb holder. Look at that, perfect fit. So here we go, finally, the moment of truth. Look at that. Let's pop into our lamp. And then we just lock it into position. And there we have it.